Anonymous says, do you have any thoughts on detoxing heavy metals? Yeah, I did a video about this. And my thought is, look at how bad the heavy metal is. And if it's, if it's at the level where a conventional practitioner would say, you have lead toxicity, for example, then you need a fairly extreme solution of that, that I don't feel comfortable advising anyone on. But if it's like your levels are a little bit high and you want to reduce them, then my suggestion would be zinc supplementation on the basis that most heavy metals produce a metallothionine increase. Metallothionine is your endogenous chelator. And the ability of a heavy metal to provoke that, that protective response is completely dependent on zinc concentrations inside your cell, even across the range of deficiency through normal status through, through more zinc than you need. And there's no evidence for a threshold or cutoff. So I think if your zinc status is fine and you boost your zinc status a little, a little bit better without, hurt, without uh, causing any zinc toxicity, then or without causing copper deficiency or deficiencies of other minerals, I think that's a very gentle and safe way to reduce your load of heavy metals. Unless what you're seeing is arsenic, in which case methylation would be my focus because methylation plays a specific role in addressing arsenic. And for anyone who hasn't seen it, I have a comprehensive methylation resource at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash methylation. So those would be my ideas for gentle nutritional approaches.